referendum on the status of Crimea held on March 16, 2014, by the legislature of Crimea as well as by the local government of Sevastopol, both subdivisions of Ukraine. The referendum asked the people of Crimea whether they wanted to join Russia as a federal subject or if they wanted to restore the 1992 Crimean constitution and Crimea's status as a part of Ukraine. The 1992 constitution accords greater powers to the Crimean parliament including full sovereign powers to establish relations with other states. The available choices did not include keeping the status quo of Crimea and Sevastopol as they were at the moment the referendum was held. Many Western and Ukrainian commentators argued that both choices would result in de facto separation from Ukraine. On March the 11th in their joint declaration of independence of the Republic of Crimea the Crimean Parliament and the Sevastopol City Council expressed their intention to join with Russia pending a supporting result in the referendum. The leadership in Crimea and Sevastopol considered the ousting of Ukrainian President Viktor Yanukovych in the 2014 Ukrainian Revolution as a coup and the, the new interim government in Kiev as illegitimate. As a response to these developments, the Crimean leadership argued that they had to inquire of their people what they wanted for their future. The referendum was widely considered illegitimate by the European Union, United States, Canada and several other nations because of the events surrounding it, condemning the decision to hold a referendum. In addition, the Melis of the Crimean Tatar people the unofficial political association of the Crimean Tatars called for a boycott of the referendum. The United Nations Security Council failed to adopt a resolution declaring the referendum invalid, as Russia exercised its right to veto as a permanent member of the council. Thirteen members voted in favor of the resolution and one abstained. A non-binding United Nations General Assembly resolution was later adopted, which declared the referendum invalid and affirmed Ukraine's territorial integrity. The referendum was observed by 135 international observers from 23 countries with no violations registered. The EOD observer mission concluded that the referendum was conducted freely and fairly. The official result from the referendum was a 96.77% vote for integration of the region into the Russian Federation. Turnout was 83.1%. However, Andrei Larionov, a former Russian presidential adviser, stated that the referendum was falsified and had a turnout of only 34.2%.